Record, uh, Senator Ray White, District 9. Um, I was not going to testify on this bill because uh, I kind of consider myself uh, an intellectual lightweight when it comes to educational issues. You know, I've, I think I've only been before your committee once ever. But I was urged to do so from Bernie uh, Bedford residents because this has kind of become the uh, Bedford bill, so to speak, to a lot of people. Once I'm done with my testimony, I think those who urge me to testify will be sorry that they did, but you get what you pay for. Uh, like the rest of you senators, I represent many towns, and only one of them has the IB curriculum. I didn't hear one word of support for the IB curriculum from any of my towns except for Bedford. Thus, it would seem logical that I would be in favor of House Bill 1403 since the vast majority of my constituents do not appear to support IB or the town of Bedford's position regarding this matter. In addition, I'm still kind of in a uh, surly mood about having been lured to a school board meeting under what turned out to be false pretenses for a discussion of various education bills coming through the legislature, but in reality, uh, it was a setup for a pro-IB political rally. I was ambushed at a forum where opinions about curriculum were being force-fed to me with no opportunity to respond, question, engage any of the speakers, despite the fact that those speakers were speaking uh, directly to me often. I found this particularly distasteful because I'm not a school board member, I didn't run for school board in the past, I'm not planning on being a candidate for the school board in the future, uh, I don't know much about school issues or curriculum, and I'm a state senator, but that's what, how it came down. You can be sure that when I retire from the legislature, uh, I'll be having a conversation with my successor about the uh, wisdom of attending school board meetings uh, going forward. Still, I think I only have myself to blame because I'll be honest with you, I saw that coming a mile away. I still foolishly decided to attend that meeting anyway. Uh, there were many uh, Bedford members of the delegation who didn't attend. They were smarter than me and they demonstrated they're more qualified to hold office than I am. But all of that aside, here's what it comes down to. If this committee believes that they should be adopting a statewide curriculum, then your choice is going to be obvious at the end of this hearing. You should support this bill. Because you're going to hear a lot of testimony uh, from one town that's in opposition to it and other testimony from pretty much the remainder of the state of New Hampshire that's going to support the bill. But here's the problem. This should not be a discussion about the efficacy of the IB curriculum. In fact, I don't believe this committee or this state senate should be having curriculum discussions at all. If you're an unapologetic, libertarian-minded, small government conservative like me, there is absolutely no excuse for supporting curriculum decisions at the state level. No matter how I feel about the IB curriculum personally, I have always been consistent that curriculum decisions belong at the local level. The fact is, I've always vehemently opposed the very existence of the Federal Department of Education and believe it should be abolished. I've only supported state involvement in education in a very limited way, such as targeted aid for difficult to plan for expenses like special needs students, just for one example, or other exceptional and rare circumstances. I'm a local control guy. If I'm going to be consistent about my feelings about local control and local decision making, that means that I am going to have to be tolerant of the fact that communities, even the one I live in, are going to make decisions that I don't agree with. On a broader statewide scale, it stands to reason that if we leave decision making at the local level like it should be, there are always going to be outliers and disparities in curriculum choices. I note that there are only two communities with IV, so that makes them outliers in my opinion, but if you believe in local control, that is what is going to happen. And I believe in local control. So for this reason, I urge you to reject this bill. Resist the urge to go down a road of statewide curriculum decisions, no matter how you feel about this particular curriculum. With that, I'll conclude my testimony. Thank you, Madam 
Chairman. Thank you, Senator White. Um, I agree with you, although I have concerns about international type of war, I won't support a repeal of it. Um, and I'm probably the most sympathetic on the committee to that. Uh, so, so I thank you for your comments. Um, however, there are issues that the previous sponsor brought forward, such as um, federal funding going towards IV and whether or not that's legal. That seems to be clearly uh, potentially illegal, depending on the connection to UNESCO. So there's issues like that. Do you have any opposition to, to studying the issue, uh, you know, having a, a, a committee study the issue for the next year, uh, leave, certainly leave the, the current schools in place, but just to at least study the issue, because there are some concerns. Well, um, I made the comment at that school board meeting, that infamous school board meeting I referenced, that I trusted the Senate Education Committee. Uh, all of you are educational giants. All of you have experience in that. All of you have been teachers or have those degrees. I don't, I don't have any of that. I'm a business guy. I'm a certified financial planner. And I don't know a thing about uh, education, really, except what I picked up in the sense. So my answer is, I'm just going to trust you guys to make a good decision. Hear the, hear the comments. But I, I do know one thing. I am a local control believer, and I'm going to be consistent in my position, and that's what I wanted to articulate today. 